Hey guys, today I'll be installing brake pedals on my Master 3 SP25. Uh, so this is a tutorial and I'm showing you how to install it. So first of all, I'm just going to go through um, the tools that you'll need. So as you can see here, um, we've got an Allen key for putting in the bolts. Uh, we've got a screw, which is for the bigger brake pedals. Uh, the boat obviously goes on the smaller ones over here. Um, we've got washers to hold down the boat. Uh, we've got a nut over here, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's very small, that goes in with the boat. Uh, we've also got a uh, nut holder, <laughs> sounds very retarded but okay, so you know that's the one you put the nut inside and that's where you put in the boat, so just like that, okay. Um, over here, so these stuff are the stuff that comes in with the box, so you've got these tools, um, the accelerator pedal, brake pedal and the foot uh, footrest pedal okay so what else you do need that doesn't come in the box is a slot drill uh, and a clamp to hold down your brake pedals as you drill in and um, yeah this is just the box that it came with um, I brought these on eBay I think they were about $35 um, they're really good quality um, so if you have a look it looks really nice it's got an aluminium brush on it it's got these nice um, rubber coat on it, well not rubber coat, just a rubber sp spot or whatever you call them, but gives a better grip, so yeah it looks really nice, very good finished, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey guys, so um, I'm in the car now and I'm just going to start doing the installation, um, first thing I'm going to start off with is, with is the foot uh, footrest pedal, um, which is this thing over here, the reason why I chose that is because um, you, you don't need to do any drilling into the car. The only thing you need to do is just inserting these screws on. So just get your screw. Get your screw gun or whatever you call these things. And um, yeah, we'll just make sure you find the right spot on the car that you want. Um, you can see that it's not vertical. It's slightly slanted. The reason why is because when you're sitting down, you know, your, your, your feet is kind of pointing out to the left and to the right. Um, that's just how the body is. Um, so uh, I had to find the optimum angle and space. Um, see how this part. Try not to make. Sure, try not to get it jammed in onto the carpet. Otherwise, it's be, it'll be really hard to pull this out. So um, for this one, I might just move this on top for now, just so it doesn't get screwed over later. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this angle. Um, everything looks pretty nice. So uh, just making. Make sure everything's perfectly before I drill, start drilling anything because once you drill it in, there's no going back. Um, yeah, that looks perfect. So I'm going to start. So get my screw. So what you want to do when you're doing this is that you really want to hold it down. You don't want to make any mistake because if you do, it's irreversible. So I'm just going to put in the screw just to see if it, if it feels solid on the other side. Oh, nice. It might not. Go in. Uh, I've checked under these floor mats. It's actually plastic, so these screws will go in pretty well. Uh, it's not like it's going through metal or anything. I uh, hope I'm not blocking the camera. Okay, so I'll start off with this one first. Uh, maybe oh, which one should I go first? I'll start with this one because it's easiest. So you probably want to go with something easier first. Um, okay, make sure it's well. Oh wow, that was so easy. Oh, a lot easier than I expected. Alright, so I've got the first screw in, that holds in pretty solid. Um, and yeah, now we can work off the rest without having to worry about it being uh, shifted around. Alright, so I've got my first in, uh, I might go in for, next one I might go in for diagonal one. Uh, just so like, actually wait, I'll go for here this one. Just, uh, put my screw in. is to always go start off slowly because you don't want to screw up anything um, once you feel it's, it's got it's gone in pretty well that's when you can start increasing the speed of your uh, drill that's good so it's in very well um, and I'm gonna finish off the other two screw it.
Okay, so for now, don't screw them on too hard, um, just in case, you know, anything goes wrong, you can always <laughs> take it out. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I hate working on stuff under the car inside. It's so tight. Oh, Alright, so... Alright, so everything's screwed in nicely. Yep, looks good. So now I'm just gonna put the speed back to a bit lower and uh, just make sure that these are all tightly screwed in. I don't want them falling off while driving, that'll be awkward. Yep. Okay, it's done. And yeah, it's nice and tight on it. So that's done. So now I'll be moving on to either the brake pedal or the accelerator pedal. Alright guys, so I've just installed, finished installing the footrest pedal as you know. I'm moving on to the brake pedal now which is the middle one. Um, I'm just moving from left to right so it's more comfortable for me to work on. Um, well, so what, I, what happened is I, I've touched the brake pedal and I've realised there's, there's actually this rubber coating on the top. Um, not rubber coating, I mean like a rubber um, thing that they put on the top just for an extra grip of driving so, so you know um, so what I've done is I've actually put it off so you can look at it that's that's what it looks like and um, what the point of removing it is that I don't want to add on my new brake pedal on top of it because if you look at it look how chunky that is you know I don't want that sticking out and that means because it'll make me it'll make it more uncomfortable for me to drive so what I'm doing is I've taken it off and I'm going to add this new one in which is around the same thickness so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure it and I want to make sure that it's in the right spot yep there we go so just make sure that it's nice and horizontal just to match the floor and what you're going to do is you're going to get a clamp um, and to to avoid this clamp from scratching my brake pedal I'm going to put just a piece of cloth or something on top of where I want to clamp it on Put this clamp all that, and after that, oh, I found the right spot, and then I'm just gonna clamp it in nice and tight so that when I drill, I don't make any mistakes. There we go. So, I want to put it in too tight, yeah. I just want to make sure the angle's right. Um, can't tell from that, so from camera you can't really see the angle that well, but for me, um, I'm just gonna measure, make sure that the angle is right on the brake pedal so it looks nice. Um, what I would suggest you doing is putting your thumb on the hole and your finger behind it just to make sure that there's a good contact when you're drilling, otherwise you'll be <laughs> drilling to space maybe or maybe near the edge which isn't good. Alright, so I'm gonna start the drilling process now. Um, just a keynote. Um, so this is the boat that I'm going to be inserting into the brake pedal, which goes into these little holes over here. Um, just a side note is that when you're getting a, uh, a drill slot, make sure that this diameter is bigger than this one. The reason why is because these ones are boats, so I can't see if you can, I don't know if you can focus on it, but um, basically you want this to be bigger because once you, once you drill in, this allows enough space for the boat to go in perfectly. If you get one that's the exact same diameter, it might just work, but not so well. You might have to actually screw it in. But what you want this, what what you want to happen is the boat just to slip in, you know, just fall straight through, and that way you can put on the wash underneath it and then the nuts and tighten it. Okay. So, all right. So first of all, I'm just gonna take off. I'm gonna get my drill out. All right. So I've got my drill slot on and. Yeah, so everything's well enough so to start the drilling process. Similar to what we did with the screw, always start off slowly and then work your way through. Alright, so this time I'm not drilling into plastic, I'm drilling into metal. So yeah, you really want to work it slowly first. Alright guys, so I finally got a hole drilled through. It took ages trying to find the right drill, um, drill slot I mean. And um, yeah, I'm just going to finish off with the, all, the other three holes and um, I'll show you what I have to do next. Alright guys, so I finally got all four holes drilled. It took a while, but finally there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this camera back 
here in a nice so you can see it. Alright, and what's gonna happen is I've taken my brake pedal, uh, I've inserted all the four bolts into um, this slot. And what I'm gonna do now is just gonna place it into these holes. Hopefully they'll fit. And yes! Alright, all four fit in perfectly. So uh, you can have a look here now. Okay, so they all fit in perfectly. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert. Oh, I don't think you can see this, unfortunately. Um, see if I can get the angle right. One sec. Uh, no, I don't think you can see it. Anyways, um, so now I'm just going to insert the um, washers behind them and then put the nuts on. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the washers and then the nut behind them just to show an example what it looks like. So right now, uh, where did I drop that? So right now you can see this is the bolt that we've had um, going into these holes here. Once it's going through, what I'm going to do now is on the other side, I'm going to put a washer through it so that it has good contact behind the brake pedal and I've got, I've got a nut here. Uh, so tiny you can't see it. Okay, for that little nut there, and I'm gonna put it in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Allen key out, and I'm gonna put it on top of the boat into the hole, and I'm just gonna screw it in like that. Okay. So what it come, what I can use is this little nut holder. Put it back in there, and just helps me slot it in. Ah, oh, god damn it. So. There you go. And yeah, so we just go in and you just slot it in until it gets tight. Okay? Um, I'm not going to show you a video of that because it's not, you can't really see anything anyway. So I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, guys, so I've got these all fixed in nicely. Very tight. So, very good. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with it. Now I just got to work on the accelerator one. Okay, guys, so now we're moving on to the accelerator pedal. Uh, unlike the brake pedal, it's much easier because it's actually plastic, so it doesn't require much drilling. So no hassle. So I can't wait to get that done, and um, I'll show you the finished project. Okay, guys. So similar to the brake pedal, uh, brake pedal, <laughs> brake pedal. What the hell is a pedal? Brake pedal. Um, we're gonna have to measure it again, so it shouldn't take too long. This one's actually looks very easy. So put on. Yep. So once again, um, just align it, make sure it's horizontal and horizontal on bottom, vertical on the side, make sure it's perfectly uh, spaced out evenly on the top and on the bottom. Uh, you when you're happy with that, <laughs> get your piece of cloth, get your clamp, and clamp it on again, nice and tight. Oh, this one doesn't go in that well, so I'm gonna have to clamp it from the side, uh, which doesn't seem too stable. Oh, slipping off, why is it slipping off? Doesn't have much space for me. Ah, that's why this side is much slim on the inside, so I'm here we'll clamp on this side. Oh, I can fit here, that is. Ah, perfect. Okay, so now what I've got to do is just make sure I measure it right and then I'll show you the drilling process again. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to start the drilling process. Um, I've got it where I want, so um, yeah, let's get started. Oh, got to make a point though, for my Mazda Frito, um, on these two sides, um, behind there's actually quite a thick plastic block, so it's blocking me from actually putting the boat in, so I'm not going to bother putting it on this side, so I'm just going to have to do two bolts on the right side, hopefully that will be enough to hold it in securely. So, first of all, again, drilling it in, I love plastic, so much easier. Alright, for this one, I'm going to actually put in the boat first because um, 
this uh, clamp is actually blocking the top one from drilling, so I'm just going to put this in. And uh, yep, now I can move this clamp down. Hopefully I can drill for this. Oh, it's going to be an awkward angle. And that clamp's blocking it still, so what I'm going to have to do is just take the whole clamp off. Hopefully that bolt will hold it in. Uh, hold this tightly as well, so I don't lose the orientation. Uh, just made enough space, I think, for my drill to go in. I don't want to take it out completely because it's going to use too much space while I can. I'll drill this in quickly before I lose the... There we go. Perfect. Okay. Once again, put the bolt in. Just so that you don't lose the orientation. And done. Alright. Sweet, so now I can remove this piece of cloth and the clamp and yeah, now I can just secure it in. Okay, so um, I've just got these tightened up with the nuts behind, they look really good. Um, the problem is, um, I was actually having second thoughts about leaving these ones, even though it's quite tight, is that I really want that bolt to be inside, I don't like two holes, it doesn't, just doesn't look good, look at how good that one is, and look at that one, just doesn't look incomplete. So what I'm going to do now is, um, I thought of a plan, since behind this is the thick plastic block, um, I won't be able to put the nut, because it's just um, so thick, but what I could do is, I can use the bolt, and just add like a screw and just go into the plastic hopefully that will be enough to hold it in even if it isn't that doesn't matter at least it's just fixed in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a drop slit uh sorry a, a drill slot just slightly maybe slightly smaller than the diameter of this bolt and hopefully this one can screw in to that um you know uh the drill hole before and it will just screw in perfectly okay so um yeah i'll show you that in a sec Alright guys, so I've just found the correct drill slot diameter um, and I'm just going to drill it in. <sighs> don't want to go too fast, otherwise you should make a massive hole which I don't want. <coughs> nice, that one's done. Alright, and that one's done as well. Okay, so hopefully this will fit in nicely. Okay, since the diameter is smaller, you have to apply some pressure while putting this in. Hey guys, so I finally finished everything, uh, I've drilled everything in, it took quite a while to do this but I'm so happy with it, quality looks excellent, looks great, you know, compared to the old one, it just looks so much better, and, you know, the quality of this is so good, I uh, can't wait to actually put my feet on it, as much as that, that sounds weird but, you know, I'm so happy with the finishing quality and um, yeah, I might just take my car and to the car wash and um, just use the vacuum cleaner and just suck up all these you know, dirty metal drilled parts on the floor and give my car a good vacuum from the inside and um, yeah alright hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah see you guys next time